One of the projects for today is to tidy up the espaliered Menturium pear down the side of our house. It's probably uh, six or seven years old. It's about five metres tall and looks really impressive. But at the moment, we've had so much growth over the last couple of months that it looks a little bit of a mess. So I'm going to tidy it up. So this is the first job and it's really to grab those branches that have continued to grow and attach them to the wire again. So each year you need to do this as, the, as it continues to grow outwards. Um, so what I use is I use this material, it's like a, a t-shirt material um, available at, um, you know, at your nursery and um, it doesn't actually impact the branch at all, it just holds it in place against the wire. So I put um, a number of wires across this wall with screws at either side and I think one maybe in the middle for support. So it just helps me to keep training the branches across. And I've got this last one here. This is the last point on this wire. And so it's finally made it, which is, which is quite exciting. So one of the things I'll do before I get cutting is actually check for paper wasps. Um, paper wasps will actually um, have their nest. They attach it to these branches and it'll, it's sort of like a comb shaped nest and there'll be five or six of them living in that. Uh, previously I, I cut the um, tree around the front and disturbed them and heard this noise all of a sudden and then this real pain in my eyes and I ended up being stung four or five times in my face around my eyes and um, ran away but was a really painful process so um, I've had a little bit of a look just to make sure there's none about. Um, fingers crossed I, uh, I've had a proper look. I try and grab anything that's growing down from the, the branch and, um, and then back towards the wall. So there are some, some branches here that are growing back towards the wall. Um, I'll chop them off. And then what I really want to do is try and make sure that there's plenty of gap between each of the rows to give that contrast um, between the foliage and also the wall. This um, Manchurian pear was actually left over uh, when we're putting the driveway in. We've lined the driveway with about 70 uh, pears. And so I've used a number around the house to a spallier against the wall. And um, I think they look fantastic, but um, I would have to say on, on reflection that Manchurian pears uh, great plants for espaliering because they have this lateral growth. They have a tendency to grow outwards, whereas some of the other varieties like the Bradfords or the Chanticleers will grow more upright, but um, they're, not, they're not great plants, I would say, for driveways in windy areas. Every time there's a major wind event, I get quite uh, worried, and usually for good reason because we'll lose one or two with um, splitting. And in some instances, because we live in a gully, we've had the entire top of the Manchurian pears taken off. So they'll just snap quite cleanly and you'll end up with this, um, you know, stump <laughs> that's still, you know, seven or eight foot tall. And then fortunately they grow so quickly that they recover and all of a sudden you end up with um, a plant that's caught up to the rest uh, despite snapping. So they, they're good on that from that perspective in that they'll recover quickly. And in some instances, you barely know that they've lost their tops, but they're probably not the ideal choice. They're good in that um, if you do have a shade, oh, sorry, a, an area that's protected from the wind, then they're fantastic for getting that avenue effect. So you feel like you're driving through a tunnel of, of green growth, which is why I did it and, and what I love about it. Um, was inspired originally by, on a number of fronts, by Paul Van Gay. And he, um, he obviously used Manchurian pears, I'm pretty sure at St Ambrose Farm, but that was, I think, quite a bit more protected than where we are. Uh, that had a lot of May big tree, significant trees around the driveway that probably buffered it and protected it from from those really strong winds. But anyway, the uh, 
we're not we're not changing it now and um, we'll continue to use the Manchurian pears for espaliers.